Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you?
<laughs> I'm on to you, Snigsby! Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? What's he running to? Yeah. Follow and I'll kill you! <clears throat> we could work together on this! Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept. That schooner will do me just fine. to water and resupply. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're mine. Take anything. 
anything you like. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain. Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Oh, oh, this business is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. Schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to fall, shall we? Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of, of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. Brace yourselves! Loose all and crimps out to the wind! We've really opened it up now, haven't we? Ha <laughs> ha! Sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane, eels, molasses. Rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living to turn his back on a keg of rum. Oh, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. lights just here look up that's it down so far so good let's get you up so welcome to the sample 17 project before you get started you're gonna need this there you go testing testing one two three hello bonjour C'est bon? It works? All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. I really hope you find an ancestor who lived in Kido, Japan. I want to visit that. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old. But Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Grandma 
mother's mother was Asian, I think. Sounds confusing. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon? T'étais prêt? Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. You ready? Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing. Calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours. So sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Havana. I'd been here once before. It was a 
truly awful pleasure. See someone you know. No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards. You'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. Hey, sir. Misunderstand me. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> but they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Ladies, you don't know these women, do you? No, they charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them? No, goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. A married man of their four day mate. Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. <laughs> I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor's nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. Better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puffer duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern. The sort of courtyard interior. My goodness, you're an agile chap. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. your knees when I catch you. I'm close at heel, shitbird. I will got you. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. Of course I am. That filth was no fuss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, we've arrived. Take your time, I'll be just here. Fancy meet no Welshman. You want a dust up? I'll give you one.
Come on, lads. I've seen bigger arms on a bird. Sorry about the swift exit. Bit of a misunderstanding. One heaped upon another. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. 
I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar for when your dispatches. Damn! And where have they gone? Haven't the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is wee mal dad, so I'd, I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. Not if you keep quiet and stay out of sight. Bonnet! I believe I'm getting the hang of this! Quiet! I fear they're onto us! Hang back. Perhaps we should split up to confuse them. It's the best idea you had today. The Proithias in Hemsparts Pro Unibus to Hispar Unamisit. The Tusque, the Hesuna Rate Omnia Deus. Buenos dias, senores. You're late. Yes, sir. See, si, uh, we are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. This would be Captain Mendoza? Yes, sir. He's very excited to meet you. All the members of a hanging. Hanging? Oh, I love a good hanging. Yes, sir. Very nice. If we hear the bell, we go. Dame la retirada! How long will this hanging take, man? 
I don't mean to hang about all day for the captain. <laughs> we cast anything, sir. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man, then he will deliver your payment. I don't want the alleys, mind. I want goods, things I can sell, tobacco, rum, sugar. See, si, see, si. we have much fine sugar. Great, we took off a fat Englishman last night. The Englishman? Si, the sugar from Barbados. We hold it in the Castillo after the man started the fight last night. He ran, left his sugar behind. Very fine. Well, that's a start. Shall I accompany him to the Castillo? No, sir. Captain Mendoza will have it sent to you, I believe. You will see. Good lord. Is that big fruit your Captain Mendoza? No, sir. He is El Tiburón. El Tiburón, Governor Torres' man.
quieto ahí. Podría darme tras dejar. 